Our next chapter is preparing for the mover's arrival. So the size and weight was obviously discussed in your original uh, discussions with the movers. To measure your piano, you can measure um, an upright height from the floor to the top of the lid. So that's obvious, from the very bottom to the top. Um, grand pianos, you measure the length. So the length is what they need to know. And you should probably go long ways and also with what depth of the, pian uh, the grand piano as well, since they're going to have to tip it up to get it through doorways. You're clearing the space where the piano is going to go. Make sure it's free of any furniture or obstacles. Make sure that you've measured the piano and ensured that it does fit in the space that you want it to go into, because it wouldn't be great if you finally got the piano in there and it doesn't fit or it doesn't work in that room. So make sure you're prepared. It's a good idea to also clean the area vacuum, dust, um, otherwise when you're shifting things around on the day, the last thing you want is for someone carrying a heavy piano to do a big sneeze and drop it. So make sure you have vacuumed and dusted maybe a day before so that the, the dust isn't still floating around on moving day. Also, it's best to not have direct sunlight on the piano because um, extreme temperature changes from one um, environment to the next with pianos is often what makes it go out of tune. So it's best to keep it out of direct sunlight, even if that means just closing the curtains for a while. So that is dealing with piano movers. The next uh, type of shifting we're talking about is the doing it yourself route for all the hardcore people out there who are going to try and move the piano with themselves and with some trustworthy friends. <laughs>